Hey guys, for the past uh, month or so I've been filming a series of short clips about rolling. One of the things that became evident in the sort of film clips that I was doing was absolutely how bad my rolling was. So what I've done is I've flipped it about rather than a coachy instructional video tutorial. It's really highlighting some of the things that I do wrong. Going through this, I've actually tried to improve my rolling. Um, so have a look at this, see what you think and hopefully you'll enjoy it. Swimming is a highly underrated skill when it comes to rolling. Use different types of techniques just to give you a little bit of disorientation. Do a little roll under the water. Know your environment and take time to get used to your environment. Use your boat, get your boat involved in swimming. It all helps build and boost your water confidence. So what I'm doing here is going back to basics to make sure that when I capsize or I'm inverted, I can get out the boat. Get out your boat, smile, have a look around, and flip your boat back up, because that's the way it's meant to float. Progressing on from this, you can put your spray deck on. With that boat floating up right now, with a wee push, it's going to float right into that eddy. So the first section what I've been looking at is building up my water confidence with swimming and capsizing. If I'm not happy or comfortable being inverted in the boat, I'm going to be less comfortable when it comes to the next stage of the process. So for me, what I'm looking to do here in practice is my hip flick. What I'm looking to do is to rotate the boat from this point here. To this point here. With keeping my head and shoulders in the water. What I'm trying to do here is to practice my rotation of the boat and not, absolutely not, lead with my head and shoulders. By bringing your head and shoulders out of the water first, you won't or will find it very difficult to get yourself upright. You could use the bow of a boat or the side of a pool. So where does hip flicking fit in with rolling? Well the float has been substituted for a paddle. The kayaker has used hip flick at this point to this point to assist them in getting up. Also, take note of the paddler, their head and shoulders and that ear that I mentioned a few moments ago is still on the surface of the water at the hip flicking stage. I'll talk more about this further on. So here what I'm looking to do is to check how my body positioning is in the process. So my hands are shoulders width apart. I'm leading with my left hand. I rotate the paddle parallel to my right hand side, leading with my left hand. If for example, I was wanting to use my right hand and right blade to come up, the paddle would be parallel on the left hand side. But here for me, 
I'm using my left blade, my left blade is up and I'm on the right hand side. This is what it looks like from sitting in the kayak. The paddler has their hands shoulders width apart. They start to rotate the paddle parallel to the boat with their left hand leading. With their left hand leading, the left hand blade is facing up the way. If you were leading with your right hand blade, the right hand blade would face up the way. Here you can see the paddler tucking forward. This is the paddler now in the setup phase, ready to roll. So with all the layers that I've put together so far, my water confidence is okay, I feel okay capsizing, my hip flick's okay, I understand the setup, so what I'm looking to do is just to progress it a little bit forward. How is my actual rolling looking? So, I'm at the setup and I'm capsizing. As I'm inverted, I push through my left blade through the surface about five or six inches. And as I bring it down, this is like a striking force and it lets me know where the surface of the water is. And as I feel that strike, I start to unwind. And as I unwind, on my left blade, I'm pushing with my left foot and driving my left knee and initiating my hip flick. Okay, so looking at this again for me, I'm in the setup. I could have been leaning forward a little bit better and I'm going inverted and this is my paddle coming through the water to strike the surface. It's something I've done for a number of years and it seems to work for me. And now that I'm starting to unwind, I'm trying to take the leading blade away from the boat. Could have did a little bit better there. Um, but then I'm going proactive and get my right blade into the water to give me some sort of positive pressure on that blade and forward momentum. So just for me, it just doesn't stop with the roll. You've got to go proactive after it. But what I'm trying to develop here is just an understanding of that left foot, left knee drive. Um, and although I'm starting to unwind here, um, I'm trying to get that sort of left foot on the footrest and knee um, to bring the boat up. This is a little bit of fun, so what I'm trying to do here is a little bit of hand rolling. But I've just made sure that my paddles is in reasonable distance that if I don't come up, I could swim my boat to my paddle. But on this occasion, from the first hand roll, I've managed to get up. And then what I'm looking to do is to capsize, swim towards the paddle, and do some sort of roll, which doesn't look pretty. This wasn't a tutorial on how to kayak roll, although there's some pointers in it that might help you. It was really a way to see how I could improve my roll um, by using video and recording it back. Um, and I found it quite helpful and it's, it's brought out a, sort of a lot of points for me to try and improve on. So that's been that, hope you enjoyed it and go out and do something different. Cheers.